Hello and welcome to another PT Minute. I'm Heather and today we're here to talk about frozen shoulder. You've probably heard the term frozen shoulder before. In medical jargon, we call that adhesive capsulitis, but it's a common shoulder condition characterized by pain and progressive stiffness or loss of motion at the shoulder joint. But let's back up a minute. What the heck is a capsule and why does it freeze? So the shoulder joint itself is made up of three bones. We've got the humerus, the scapula and the clavicle. These three are held together by a network of ligaments. And then on top of that is the shoulder capsule. It's a dense fibrous connective tissue layer that kind of encloses the shoulder joint. Frozen shoulder occurs when that capsule becomes thickened and inflamed, forming scar tissue or adhesions that results in loss of range of motion. But we don't really know why people get frozen shoulder. We have identified some risk factors. So it's most common in women age 40 to 60 or anyone that has had recent cause for shoulder um, immobility. So think shoulder surgery, injury, a mastectomy, stroke, things like that. And it occurs in three stages. So there's the freezing stage, the frozen stage and the thawing stage. Left untreated, frozen shoulder can resolve itself, but it may take up to three years. So here's the good news. Physical therapy is actually the first line recommended treatment to speed up the healing process and restore the range of motion of the frozen shoulder. So if someone you know is suffering with frozen shoulder, give a local HealthQuest a call and get on that journey to healing today. And that is your PT Minute.